Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, this is Jersey and today we are gonna be working on our coastal town. This is gonna be the new series that we are gonna be starting in the channel and with the first video we are gonna be working on the entry. On the entry meaning at least for now this is where I'm starting the town. So uh, it's where the first row is gonna be, it's where we are gonna be splitting to different areas to go into this town. And this one is a long one. This is an hour long episode. So guys, get your drinks, get your popcorn. Don't forget to slow down the video. After you guys watch it fully, completely, a piece, so you guys can see the whole process, don't forget that if you are following along in YouTube, you can slow down the video. That way you can follow along in a slower pace. Just go ahead and mute the microphone, put some background music, put another video that you guys wanna watch and just follow along and have your notebook, write down the, the areas that we are working on, maybe how many steps and, and anything like that that you guys will need as you're watching. And a heads up, I did make a few mistakes. That's why the video is a little longer because I had to like refix couple area and kind of recount my the way I was approaching the build. Uh, even though I actually went ahead and put a lot of things into paper into my in my graph notebook, I did mistake. One of them was that I forgot to add a sidewalk. So when I was doing the road layout and and all of that. I forgot to add the sidewalk. So now when I'm putting it into here, I want to add my sidewalk and all the steps were not aligning. So, so yeah, so even, even when we plan, even when we, we, we feel like we are ready, things do happen as you're building and there are, there are always going to be compromises. There are always going to be things that we want to change and that we have to adjust as we are building. But okay. So the main thing, the main idea, right? is right now what I'm trying to work is is on the edge of the town. This uh, that hedge right there kind of marks the end of the town or the beginning of the town, whichever one you want to um, think about it. So the idea is that right now uh, we, we're going to have a little entryway. Uh, it's going to be two tiles uh, wide. So that's why we got the two cement paths right there. and. We're going to do a little bit of greenery right there in the corner. Uh, we're going to plant some bushes, some um, palm trees. We're going to add some flowers and then we're going to do kind of. It's not per se a boardwalk in that sense, but you know, when you go to the beach and then you just walking and, and so you have your road and then you, you will have a fence or anything like that, or you have the sidewalk and then after the sidewalk, you got like just cement path that people just walk on and sometimes they're close to the beach sometimes you see the beach kind of far away so online i was looking for inspirations and i i, I noticed like they're not boardwalk but it's just um it's kind of like a long cement platform and they have sometimes designs to them or or and anything like that and, and they do sitting areas uh a lot of those places got a lot of palm trees and and that's what I was trying to do here. And if you guys are following along on on all my previous video, you guys know that I've, I'm always trying to use that path, right? But in many areas for me, it hasn't hasn't been as easy to use it because I've not been able to like it when I put it down. But using it here right now, as we're using a lot of the light color, especially the palm wood, it actually it feels like it's a good combination and against the sand and with the water. I, and once we get to the point a little later on the video, when a lot of the palm trees that we're planting, they're actually growing, it actually looks really good. And I was, even myself, I was very surprised. So right here, I was trying to see if I wanted to raise it. Cause, okay, so, so when I plan my layouts, it's on a notebook. And on the notebook, of course, it's everything's flat. I'm, I'm just visualizing in the notebook the way I want to take the the bill. But when I when I start planning the income, that's when some of the ideas that I have on paper 
sometimes they don't translate correctly into the income or I want to try to see if I can do something else different. So here I was like, let me see, because first I, I wanted it all the, the same level. You got the road, the sidewalk and, and that concrete kind of like a platform. And I wanted to see what it will look like a little raised up. But once I raised it, I didn't like how this tile, when it curves down, you actually see the tile again. And I was like, mm, you know what? I, I don't like that because I'm going to have areas that are going to be raised up like that. And I want to use those more like piers or boat docks or anything like that. So I went back to the original plan and I flattened it out and I went ahead and just made it the same level. Okay. So like in any of my other builds, my row layout is always going to be the black cobblestone. So originally I decided that I was like, you know what? I keep trying to work around my rivers because I don't want to, I don't want to destroy them. Right. I don't want to fill them up. I don't want to just, I just wanted to leave the river. And that's what I've, I've been standing for a long time. And I decided when I was going to do this build, okay, I'm not going to, I'm going to go ahead and fill up the rivers. Right. I, because if I'm doing design, sometimes the rivers or water places get in the way. Let me just go ahead and fill them. And, and we're going to just, I was, I was just going to do it. And as I'm doing the build and looking at the river and, and seeing how the river works and the water work. And I was like, I kind of caved in. I was like, you know what? I've been telling for a long time that part of my goal on this island is to leave the rivers the way they are. So, so at some point I, in my thinking, I decided you, I'm going to, I'm going to leave the rivers. I'm going to work around the rivers. So that kind of that kind of make my design, especially right now, um, because I'm supposed to, as, as I'm creating this row right here, at some point, as I continue going towards the left that you guys are seeing, I'm going to hit the river and I'm supposed to just fill that up. And at some point going up, this row should be living up towards, towards the north side and it's going to hit the river and I'm going to have to fill up that river. And not just now, but later on, I kind of decided, you know what? I don't want to do that. I, I like the reverse. I think I can make it work. And that's kind of something that I did on my, on the first town where the town hall, the museum and all that is, is I push my design and rework, rework it around the rivers. Okay. So right here, you remember in the beginning of the video, when I mentioned that I did a mistake on my graph notebook paper was right here. I forgot that when I go left, I wanted to add a sidewalk. So in my notebook, I don't have that. So, so when I'm counting down the steps and counting down, I'm getting the, the right count that I have on my notebook. But when I reach it here in game where this sidewalk supposed to be in my notebook, there's no sidewalk. And in game, I put a sidewalk and I noticed, wait a minute, this is not going to be lining up. And it took me a moment and, and, and this part right here uh, at some point, I, I had to stop. I had to regroup and, and I was like, okay, do I need a sidewalk? Maybe I don't do a sidewalk. Maybe I just keep the fence and, and the, and the lineup and just continue to work on that and just kind of like a row thing. But, but since I think realistically, I went back and I was like, no, 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 I need the sidewalk because, because that's how I kind of work. And so I had to like turn, I, I'm going to break all this down again at, at some point and we're going to redo it by adding the sidewalk and I had to do some changes on my notebook and then mentally keep them in mind because some of my calculation now are going to be a little off. And so I had to make some notes and kind of remember because yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those things that once you're off by one square, the whole design that you have it's going to be off. The measurements will not come out correctly. So on this side right over here, I, I, I put the white fence because I wanted to see if I like the white fence feel and on the left side. And then on the right side, you guys are going to see that I already started using the palm wood fence and, and I kind of left them up because I wanted to see which route I wanted to go and which route is going to look better. So for now, they're going to stay up at the end of the video. We are going to do the final choice for now. And I'm going to be hoping to hear from you guys 
opinion and see at the end if what you guys like better which one felt better but at the end i did choose one of the fences to go with for now and then i'm going to be using the other fence hopefully in other areas of the video because don't forget this is just the beginning this is just a little bit of the of the intro just starting in the town and right now right right away we have a river we're gonna have we got the ocean in front of us and yeah so so right now right here i'm just still counting and and you guys are gonna notice that as as i'm working on this bill a lot of the of the character i'm recounting and recounting because now that i added the the sidewalk and when and when i was i was trying to do this curve over here nothing was lining up and 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 like i stated before it's because since i didn't do it correctly on the graph and it took me a moment to how to reorganize all of it so everything that makes sense and the only way that i can kind of help you guys along uh because i know some of you uh throughout different uh streams uh, i've been hearing you guys some of you guys do the same way that i do it we, we design on graph paper because it kind of helps a little bit Gra grass paper is squares and if you use that square as, as one square of income at least you can get a, an idea of how big you want to make an area how how the layout of an area you is you, you kind of want to use it in in that sense and and that's what we, we're approaching but when you when we do a little mistake in our planning and then we're translated it into income then some of the measurements are definitely going to come out not the correct way and and just makes it a little harder uh for for us to refix it and then and then as you're working right you things change ideas come because one thing is putting things on paper one thing is this is what i want to do this is inspiration you know you, you you're putting something in a blank piece of paper where everything is perfect everything there, there there's nothing in the way there's no rivers there's no mountain there there's nothing happening everything on paper you can do whatever you want and everything's gonna look just just fine but now when you put it into practice and you're placing it here in dinkum things can start changing a, a little bit especially because when you put it in now that you can see it physically things may not look as the best as you imagine in your mind and to encourage you guys is to to not give up just like I, you guys are seeing right here you know is you guys are seeing me struggle on this corner right here trying to get something right and and don't give up and, and I, I don't want you to give up I, I don't want you to get frustrated even though I got frustrated don't get frustrated uh, um, hear me out because it's worth it at the end. It, it's worth to get the idea that you want, and especially when when you're when you're looking at it and you are, you know, it doesn't look right. You know, you know, you want a sidewalk. You know, you want this to to fit the way you want it to fit. So don't give up. Keep working on it. Sometimes I have to quit working it, work in another section, then come back to it. You uh, you're gonna see it on the video. I go back and forth in different section, and. And just keep counting uh, dinkum in, in many ways you can be very spontaneous and there's amazing builders one of them that i know a lot of you guys watch is uh rips gaming he's incredible i mean he he wins his bill he makes it work he has a great community people give him input um he has uh great amazing people that go into and help him build too and and it's just great but i can't wing it it's it's, it's very hard for me just to to win something i need for me i need a little bit of structure and I, I need a little bit of guidance of what i want to do if not i'm gonna stand here looking at all this and not knowing what to do and of course i get a lot of my inspiration from real life i, I look at life structures i, I look at, at real places Be, before i started doing the coastal town i started doing a lot of research i started looking at, at coastal towns online and just seeing the the street uh the the beach front the you know the downtown and uh, what kind of fences they would use or how the neighborhood look uh, how was like the kind of the nature how would they rearrange the nature and the colors and because i, I need at least kind of like a guidance right okay so right here just because i've been working in the same corner 
in the same front trying to fix this that is not lining up still to to this point it not it's still not lining up one hedges is one one more front one more in the front the other one is in the back so it's i'm, I'm still working I, I i want this front to line up and right here um, i was doing a test as you guys notice I, I put the hedges on the water and not on the water and i was trying to test it out to see which way i like it best and i went ahead at the very end we went with no water i, I don't want the water to come in and hit and hit the hedges uh, so i just kind of want the sand so i want the water sand hedges then fence okay and what i did here and i and i want you guys why are the hedges one one deep lower right it's because the hedges and the fences either the palm wall fence or the white fence they're a little bit lower than the hedges and i want and i, I want when you when you're walking in and you're seeing the hedges i want you to see the hedges but i want the fence to just come up a little bit i, I don't i don't want it to be hidden behind the hedges so I, I want when you're coming from the front and you're walking in i want you to see the hedges and the fence and then when you're walking out of course you're gonna because the fences you you can see through the fences you're gonna be able to see the hedges i just wanted to create that just a little bit of difference between it so so i so i was trying to figure out which which way i wanted to approach this and the only way that i could make it work and i'm happy that i for me at least it does look good it was digging down one square down hedges are buried just a little bit and i get that that dimension that one side is higher and the other side is lower and i feel like that look really good so and then to eventually to make this uh to work what we had to do is kind of like extend the the little let's call it uh cement cement platform you know with, with all the the, the the new towels with the flower towels on it originally in my notebook i had it two two towels right well that way i can fix the front and to make everything align the way they needed to align i went ahead and made it three so now it's actually wider and but i'm happy uh, th and this was a happy mistake because as i became three wider everything now when because and i i knew i'm, I'm gonna plant palm trees and another palm tree and 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 i'm gonna make like uh just different sections are gonna have uh palm trees planted right so i'm glad that i went it's a happy mistake but we it's, it's three wide now because as i planted that along i i wouldn't notice that making it just too wide it would have felt a little cramped and, and that's when Putting things into notebook, but then putting things into practice is sometimes they just don't work work out in many ways, and that happened all the time to me when I was doing the museum, when I was doing the courtyard, when when in, I initially started uh, Dinkum and it started, you know, the the very first building that we started doing was the uh, the town hall, right? And originally I wanted to keep all that water around it, and and if you would have seen the the original island the way it was there, there was like this hill behind it and back then we didn't have the the the, the dirt printer so you know just to to raise the level and all that you had to do that all by by shoveling and and it took time but by because i it it take it let's see because it took time i was able to to take my time and rethink of many times how to re rework the design right so so, and that's what I call it a happy mistake. It was, I had to make a three wide, but as you see right here, originally I had it too. So that third line would have been the sidewalk and it would have looked good. I think it would have looked, still looked good. Having having a palm tree right next to the sidewalk is, I mean, I see it all the time in real life. But now by having it three, I do feel like it, get, it, it gave me a little breathing room between it because eventually, we're gonna have seating here. We're gonna have chairs. We're gonna have tables, and it won't be in this video. Uh, at, at some point, I, I had to decide on what kind of chairs do I want, uh, what kind of tables do I want, uh, what color do I want to match right here. Uh, so a, a lot of the main decoration, the detailed decoration, right, for for this design, I'm not building them just yet. Like uh, I haven't decided. So right now, a, a lot of these videos are gonna be basing the structure of the island the layout 
leaving the spaces where where we are going to decide to maybe bring a, um, the the stores. And, and once I decide in what space I want to bring the store, uh, those we may work right there on, or I may just leave the space so we can continue doing the layout. Uh, because um, I have to keep expanding the roads. I, I, I gotta decide where are we gonna go with the roads, where are they gonna lead to, and then those will lead to a specific places where I do want to put the the first store or the houses. Because I'm, I'm thinking also that I'm, I might be finally moving one of my houses, uh, at least my main house, maybe to the coastal town too. And then we'll have an area that I need to work on for that as well. So, but I, as you can see, as everything is planted, that extra space is really working out. And I, I think it's a, it's a happy mistake. It's, it's one that it was made because I had to refix a couple areas, but because of reworking that, it became a good mistake and, and, and good mistakes are good. You know, we can use them to our advantage. We can, we can work them, we can build on them. And right now, everything is just working out in, in a good way. Okay, so so on this square right here, this is right when I'm starting to think and kind of going back and saying, hmm, maybe I know I'm supposed to put a, a building here on this section right here, but it's gonna be very close to the river. And and originally I was like, okay, I know I'm gonna fill up the river. And, and that was the original plan, but I'm already trying to man, maybe I don't want to touch, I mean, maybe I want to leave the river the way it is. So here I'm testing again. Uh, I, I wanted to see as I'm working slowly, um, I, I put in Paul Boone fence and I put the white fence because I want to decide which fence do I want to use for for different um, for for different areas. Because right there where where we had the white fence is and we have the front and we and we left that opening uh, open for that lead towards the ocean. I want to put some boats there. Kind of they're very close. Like people can, either people are going to be renting a boat or, or maybe it's a place where people buy boats or something like that. And I want to put boats right there, kind of very close to that white fence. It's going to be kind of like a little platform. And and there's going to be boats so people can grab it and take it to the ocean. So I knew that, but I didn't know what kind of fence I wanted to go next to it. So you're going to see me putting fences down just so I can visualize and I kind of and it's also marking and dividing the spaces because this is a square for the boats. This is going to be a square for maybe furniture. This is going to be a little square for something because I got pockets of builds that I want to do. And and by and by kind of placing the the placement that I want, I can kind of visualize it for now until I get to the point that I'm going to really concentrate and work in that area. And, and here's again, here's another example again, how the hedges are taller than the fence. So I was like, okay, but let me do the same trick that I did for the front. And and I think this is something going forward I'm gonna be doing, you're gonna be seeing me a lot, is if I'm gonna put a hedges in front of any of these fences, they're gonna be buried down one deep. So the only downside of that, if you're looking for the effect of the two fences kind of connecting, that won't happen, but I, I, I still feel like it looks uh, really good and it's going to work out uh, really well uh, putting the hedges a little lower and because I, I what I want is that height difference and it, it just gives it a little more of a feeling, a little more of realistic uh, feeling to me and, and it's just not hidden because if it's hidden, all you see the hedges and then it's, it just do, doesn't give you that, that 3D feel when, when you're looking at it, right? Okay, so so I'm right there in the map. I was looking. I was like, man, I'm, I'm looking at the river and going back and forth, thinking on my old island, how I work things around the river, and I didn't want to destroy the rivers. I, I just want to keep them the way they are, and, and and I'm still struggling. That's why you don't see me working on that initial square where I was originally gonna put one of the one of the first store i didn't know which store yet but it, it, i was gonna put one there uh, so uh, so as soon as you get to the island you know if once we make our highway or something that's be connecting one one place to the other and, and you go to the entryway it could have been uh, a trace place it could have been the furniture store uh it could be uh, sally or 
it could be my, my 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 very own home so i didn't know but what ended up happening is i ended up changing my mind like i mentioned before and none of that that i have in my notebook when i had stayed in place so okay so right here i'm filling up a little bit uh of, of the water so i can finish doing the front that i want to do here and there's gonna be a little dock right over here uh going out out of the that little archway right there and then that archway is matching the one in the back across the row then we're gonna have another archway about four four square down because then that's gonna lead to kind of like a little parking lot and and that's gonna be a little more towards the end of the video because one of the goals on this one one of the goals of this coastal town is i'm gonna try to make it a little more uh, I'm, I'm trying to write, find the right word but a little more town feeling so i was actually looking at town map layouts online and seeing how the back rows look like okay so you got the main row but if you take this row going a little bit here and and then it curves a little more it takes you to a back row on the end instead of having like this is a main row, connects to this other main row, and then connects to this other main row. We're gonna have that, but at the same time, I want this other kind of little back row so they're smaller and they can kind of cut around the town and lead you to the other main row. So I wanna have like a little more places that you walk, a little more hidden places behind it, not just, okay, we, we walk, we get to an area and it's this, Okay, and then we walk again, and then you get to another main area. I kind of want to have pockets and and landscape in between pockets. And it's really hard for me to explain that. It's, it's just because I'm, I'm truly looking at, at town maps, um, uh, you know, small town maps, coastal maps, uh, really tiny towns, how, how they're, all the building layouts are at, where, where are the, the structures are at, where are the pathings are at, and it really, in a way, it opened my eyes to kind of how city layouts work. And I want this town as much as I can. And this is and this is why I always say, let, let's go ahead and push Dinkum. But I might be pushing Dinkum a little too far. Uh, or maybe I'm not pushing it too far, but I'm making it a little more complicated for myself than, than what it should be. But I like a challenge. I, I, I want to create more unique things for you guys and and to push you as well uh, not just pushing myself but also as you guys are following along you guys are like okay i will never have done something like this so i'm gonna go ahead and follow along and then as you're following along you guys are tweaking it doing it different because because the way i have to do it here on my is because the way my island layouts are and i don't want to now interrupt the river that's what i decided on but in your island in the areas that I don't have a river you guys can continue you guys can do some so many different things than compared that i can at the moment and like always like i always say this is a guidelines for you guys this is if you're stuck you don't know what to do go ahead and follow along don't forget to slow down the video on youtube so you can follow it and then after that you guys will put your own spin on all of these builds right here right okay so right here, I'm filling up a little bit of the river because I wanted to finish. So originally, right? So so you see right back here where that road is gonna lead up. So if that road would lead up and according to the notebook that I have in front of me, it should be 15 squares. But when I lead up to 15 square, what happened is I do have to fill the river and that road is three wide. So it's gonna go right down the river. And like I said, originally I was gonna do it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna fill up the river. I, I can't keep doing this compromise that I, I don't wanna touch the rivers. But it, I know if I do that, the waterscaping and all that is gonna be a little harder. And at the same time, this is a coastal town, right? So I want water to be around and I, I want waters to stay as much as possible. So, so I had to change my plans. And this is where right now you're gonna see a lot of back and forth, compromising, where I'm not gonna start filling the river. But what I ended up doing is using bridges so I can go from one side to the other side. So I didn't have bridges right now, originally in front of the island, but the layout, once I started adding the bridges and new ideas came, it actually worked out really well. And I, I became uh, very happy 
with the kind of at the end result, you know, all, all this video. So right here, I'm trying, I added the white fence again because I wanted to see, because I'm still very undecided. I, I, I like how the white looks, but then I was, I knew I was going to use the palm woods and it's just trying to decide if it, if it makes sense, does it make sense, does this flows well, does the color clash or not? Does it make sense right now to make more things uh, palm wood and just take out the white for now and then use the white fence in a specific place? And the reason that I want to use the white fence is because in many coastal towns, white is very popular. White is a, a big thing in in those areas, you know, and 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 I like the look of it. I, I really like how the white looks against the green. I like how the white looks against the sand. It, it, it really gives you something. So. And, and that's why right now the fences are all spread out. But at the end of the video, I did make, I did make a choice for now, at least for the entryway. And, and you guys can start guessing. Start guessing right now which fence I ended up using by the end of, of this video. Okay, so here, you see my character is slowing down. Because right here is when I'm counting. I'm like, if I keep going, I'm going to ruin this river. Do I want to do that? It'd be about right when I put that, that fence. I... Uh, I mean, sorry, no offense, that little tile. I knew, I knew that's like the midpoint of what I was thinking. So I started changing my mind and I was like, you know what? What if I do a bridge that will connect at least to the other side of the river? And, and with the bridges, like always, I wanted, I want us to be able to go under them. Uh, that way when we're using jet skis or we're using boats or anything else that comes in the future, I want to be able to go under them uh, really nicely that it, it feels realistic that you can just go right underneath it. So we know we're going to go at least three high. And and then I, I, I wanted to decide how the width that I wanted to, to go. So I had to make this little land bridge right here, then take all the dirt out so I can put the end where the I feel where the end of the bridge should be, where it's gonna land, and then we're gonna race it, we're gonna do some test run to see what I like, look at, we're gonna then go back to the front, see how it looks, and, and there was something that clicked, that it clicked very well, and made me happy that I took this decision instead of filling up the river and, and do the design that I first originally want to, leaving the river put in the bridge and then when you walk in when you're walking in towards at least for now this entrance because right now we only got one entrance right right here because i got a little plan for that little small little island right there where where we're coming in it's gonna be in the future because i had to do some test run on that idea to see if i can make it work but for now we only got one entryway and when you're going in that entryway you're gonna be able to see this bridge and and that's what's so cool about Dinkum in many ways is sometimes you really gotta try uh, new things. Uh, and like I said, one thing is putting down in paper. Uh, in paper for me right now is still the initial layout. It's, it's a guideline. That way I'm not just standing here trying to figure something out and spending an hour, two hours going back and forth and I don't really make some progress. Uh, because it's, it's a style that's not working for me, uh, being able, in, in any game, you know, uh, in any game that has been about building, Animal Crossing, or Minecraft, uh, Dinkum, uh, and anything that had to be structural related, I just can't wing it. I, I, I need to at least have a guideline or something to base it on so I can do what I want to do. So. But yeah, so once I saw the bridge there, ideas started popping and I knew I was, okay, I want a bridge right here and I know I want a bridge on the opposite side. And a vision came to my mind. I was like, okay, now I know what I want to do. I want to bring the river in a little bit and where originally I want to put my first building, I want another bridge that leads towards the parking lot from the back side. And once I started thinking like that, like, okay, so now we're having a little more structure, a little more back ways, a, a little different ways to get to different areas in the island. And that really, it really got me very excited because I was like, okay, this is something different. This is very different from the first uh, little town that we built. 
and and I really I was like okay and I think this is gonna look cool because once you walk in you're gonna be able to see two bridges but and then you're gonna see that as we're working on that second bridge at first I was gonna make it small because I didn't want to change my layout where I wanted to do that little boat uh, ideas for like for rent or anything like that so I was trying to keep it in a certain distance for the then the one bridge was this wide the other bridge was shorter and then when I was looking at it it looked awful and and, and Nestor came into the room and I was like there's something about this that I just don't like and she looked at it with me and and I, I told her okay I think I know I need to know what to fix I'll call you in a moment and get your opinion and then she agreed and, and and once we get to that point we're gonna talk about it more so right here so originally don't forget right here the idea was to, I was gonna have a road that was gonna lead to a kind of like a little dead end but and then we're gonna have some foliage and then there was gonna be another main road in the back and and this was gonna be kind of like the first strip to have at least two buildings one in the front and once you go a little more to the back and then to the left, we're going to put another building. That's what I had on my paper. But since all the layout change at the moment, I'm not going to do that. So and I kind of want to keep that view of the river now. So we're going to do a little lookout point. Uh, it's not a high one right now. It's just going to be the same level right now. Maybe I do a high one. Maybe we do something different in the future. Uh, and, and this is when also and, and I know you guys are following along. You guys are gonna be taking inspiration from this build. But there's sometimes th this type of areas, even though we're gonna be moving on and keep working, sometimes maybe a little bit off camera. And I'm and I'm gonna try not to do too much off camera that makes a big change. That way we can always have it recorded. Uh, some, some of the things off camera might be like a little test run or maybe details work that it just happens and you think about it in the moment and then you you put it and sometimes you did a little bit much more than what you needed to and those are may safe and then we go back and walk it but I, I am gonna try to keep as much as possible for the videos so you guys have it so you guys can follow along and not be how did he do that how wait 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 a minute how did we get to that point how how he managed to do this part and I don't get it. I don't want you guys to be confused. So we are going to try to keep them as much as possible to videos, especially all the big changes. So not right now I, in the bridge, I was trying to do like a little design. I I, I, I like to have kind of like railways uh, or, or rails when you go down the stairs. I, I feel that that gives it a better look. You don't have to do it. If you like it just with the stair, keep it with the stair. This, this part right here is not it's not a must it's not something that you need <laughs> that bird and and so it's just more aesthetic so this is going to be a, a more of a choice for you or if you like it or don't like it it's going to be more if you want to do it the, the rails are not a necessity if you want to see the stairs just coming down off the bridge that's completely fine and, and leave it like that but for me my look and the, the way my mind works, I, I kind of like it like this. And, and that's what I was trying to do. But this time, I'm, I'm trying to make it a little bit different, right? Because we have our normal town in the front, a lot of brick, a lot of cement, all that stuff, and very, like, very structure built. Here, it's going to be more wood, more more palm wood. So instead of me doing the same, the same type of uh, size to the bridge like I did in my other town, on this one they're gonna be lower and using uh, rails that way the other one was raise it as high and use the the blocks and the side just like that's the rail is you you're safe as you're walking out you can't fall off the stairs on here I want to go in a different approach and right now at the moment I do like it and I think that's gonna make this town feel different than the other town that way it's not like oh it's just yeah he used different colors but everything kind of looks the same it's the same idea I really want to make the coastal town more different than the first town. I want it to feel the layout. I want the pathways. I want the all the all the stuff that I do have planned to be very different than the first town that we that we did. Okay, so here is when when I was like, okay, now I want to put a bridge right here. That way I can have kind of like a two bridge entry scenario. But this bridge will have a purpose. It's gonna lead lead to towards 
the parking lot that I want to create that's going to be behind the boat. And, and it, it's just going to be like another way that you can enter that parking lot instead of entering to the main front of the road. And I got excited. I was like, all oh, right, this is what I want. Because this is what I, I, I want to try to be different than the first island. And it's just have a, more passageway, more ways to get around the island instead of the main way or just cutting across and just jumping. I just is. And I was like, okay, so, so let's do this. And then what I decided on is since I'm going to have this bridge, right? Then we are going to make and flood this section right here all the almost all the way to the front and all that's going to become water so if it will feel like the river goes up right but and then cuts in just a little bit and it's going to flood in in there and i thought as a design aspect okay that's going to bring even more water to a coastal town and then we'll have views towards water but then i want the water not just to be water but i want it to have depth because i want fish to spawn this is a coastal town so, and I wanna have more areas than just the rivers. I want more areas where things can spawn and we can go fishing and stuff like that. And and once I started doing this, then I put my notebook aside. I was like, okay, well, I don't need my notebook right now. So I kind of closed it at the moment because now it's all about inspiration. And now I am winging it just a little bit because I have nothing written down I know I know how far I want it to go. So I, I have my, my 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 sandbox, right? My little play area is this square. From here to here is what I have that I can work on. Okay, so right here, what you see me is this bird is in the way. And I don't have none of the tools to kill it right now, and I don't wanna deal with that. So I'm making a little stair so he can get up there again. Because he wanted to go up there, but since I took it off, he can't go back up and the computer is telling him, hey, you need to go back and protect your eggs. So he's just standing there just looking at me, looking at me. And I know, and I I, 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 I can't just go ahead and take care of him, but I didn't want to just stop because my creative mind is working. So, so as you see, so we got that hedge back there, right? And that's where I kind of, that was like the end of the parking lot. So originally, did you see how small the bridge is? And at first I was fine with it. I was like, okay, yeah, just we, we'll have two, di two different style bridges. One is wider because we have a river and this one's gonna go over just a little bit of a, a part of the river. You can call it a pond, uh, whatever you wanted to call it. But I, I was fine. Right now at this moment in my mind, as I'm, as I'm recalling this video, I was like, yeah, this is fine because I don't wanna make my parking lot smaller than what I have intended on my notebook. So I'll leave it. And right here, then I, 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 what I'm doing now is working on the depth. So I'm not bringing any water. And to the end of the video, I never brought water in here just yet because I wanted to make sure if I if I wanted to go deeper or if I need to kind of extend it, make it wider or something like that. I don't want it to deal with the water. I don't want it to have to refill, redig, and all that. So I'm, I'm thinking a little bit smarter this time. I'm eager to see the water. But I, I don't want to do it to yet. I'm taking my time this time because I don't want to create more work than I need to. So here we went, I believe, uh, I kind of want to match the reverse depth. So I believe we went three deep, three to four. I can never remember uh, the depth. I think I went three. And, and right here, I'm going to close right now because this is kind of like a little viewpoint at the very edge. You get to there, you got the two bridges. And you can stand right there and you can see the rest of the river. I think the view is really nice. I like the, the way the water looks. And I know down the road, back there, according to my design that I already have written down, we are definitely going to have another bridge that we're going to see way back there. And something that is going to be connecting to that tower. And part of a different town. So I should be able to stand right there and when you see that land, some of that land will, will get flanted down because we are going to build like a big plaza there. But I'm getting a little bit of my time. But you guys got a glimpse of what's coming. But but yes, so that's going to be a little viewpoint right there. But here is where I'm, I, the parking lot from right here is going to go up, right? We're going to flat most of that, at least half of it right now. Uh, I was work, only working a half because the parking lot will go for more towards the right after you see the edge of that row, right? So imagine you go four more more squares to the right, 
then you have a sidewalk, but then you're gonna have this tier, this wall tier, and what's coming next to that wall is gonna be awesome. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's keep working here. Okay, so right here, I didn't like the, the, the towel that I put in with the flowers. So I went ahead and went back with the concrete. I liked it a lot, a lot better like this. Uh, if you like like it in the other way, keep it the other way. If you if you want to use wood or and dark wood, gum wood, palm wood for that for the bulk rental, go ahead. If you want to put a store there, go ahead. Uh, feel free to do whatever you want in the different spaces that I make. You know, the layout is a layout, but whatever you want to put, put whatever you want to put. You you want to make that a flower shop, make it a flower shop. Right now for me. It's a place where I'm gonna put boats. So it's, it's close to that little small dock. People can kinda, two people grab them. And I imagine them walking down and getting to the dock and putting their hey, and all that. And then in the future, as hopefully in Dincom, we'll get more items and more, more, more items that they're perfect for whatever we're designing, or we can use them in different ways to make uh, like a, a, a place for, for rental, uh, I don't know. Whatever James bringing, whatever items, I know we are gonna be creative, and I know we're gonna use them. And but until that moment comes, we will make the best as we can. And sometimes we're gonna we we're gonna have to use our imagination just a little bit, so we can so we can kind of pretend sometimes. But I'm trying to make it as as real as possible without having to be too creative and and too confusing and trying. I don't want to explain to someone what this build is too much you know is we don't have everything we don't have all the items and and i know there's going to be a lot of updates in the future according to the first roadmap and almost every update will bring items will be closing will bring npc hopefully new buildings and then we'll we're going to be able to keep branching our island but for for now for this moment uh we'll, we'll try to make it the best as we can with the tools that we have so okay so so right now the reason i stopped working on the bridge I needed to know at least half of this layout of this parking lot. I needed to see how I was going to fall. To see how I wanted to fix this bridge. How much of the parking lot I am going to not make anymore. So originally I'm making it the, the width that I want. At least on the left side. Because I just, I'm just i just worried about the bridge right now. So instead of taking down the rest of the mountain. Because don't forget like I said. At the edge of this way where you see that wall take four more squares off and then a sidewalk that's how big the parking lot in a way is gonna be and there's gonna be more boats or in the future when i make motorcycles and stuff like that we're gonna park things there and so so for now I, i'm just trying to decide so i had to visualize it so i had to make it so then i can make the choice and be like okay i wanna how much i wanna make and at the very end looking at the bridge, looking at other bridge, going to the front, looking at both bridges, what ended up happening, I had to make that bridge the same length as the other one. That way, when I stood in the front, because there was something that it was bothering me, because I was like, okay, I can make it one square bigger or two square bigger, and it just look off. And, and I know not everything has to be symmetrical, not everything had to be perfect, or identical but it's this one specifically i just could not get past it it, it, it was my own thing uh, my own mind uh, maybe you guys are looking at it and you're like you know it looked fine it, it, it looked cool having two different size bridges it just it was something some something was not letting me move on from where i wanted to be and 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 then every time i look at it i was like no it's just I don't know that there was just something about it like one size bigger the other one smaller the smaller one looks cool uh, and i like it in, in many ways i do like it but even looking at it right now as we're doing the the voice recording it's, it's still not happy i just didn't didn't like it and and let's just put it out there to be honest just i didn't like it so okay so we so what so what i decided is okay i'm i i do have to break my parking lot how why do I want to make this bridge? Uh, I did one test, didn't, didn't like it. Then I went ahead and did it again, and then it came out the same length as the other one. And then it was reworking. Then okay, then it was just reworking the front, and that was the other thing. Okay, it's one thing is making the bridge right, the same width, 
like right here, I extended it one, did not like it right away. As soon as I saw it, I was like, no, if, I, if I'm gonna do this, then just let's just make it the same width. So once I fixed it, once I did that, then the front, right? The front where I have the palm tree and all that, I needed to rework the front. And all this front right there that you're seeing, that you look at in the front of the bridge, I ended up reworking that because now this layout is not working the way that I want to work. And 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 this is um, this is why this this, this first video, uh, part one of the entry, it just it took a little longer. It, it took a little longer because I I had to fix. I had to do so many different things that were originally intended. Uh, and the whole point I, I do the notebook is that way when I'm recording this video, I'm not taking too much of your time, right? I, I want to go. I, I do test things off camera. I do test builds. That way I kind of know what I'm going to do. And then and then I restart the day and then I record the video. That way it's not so much trial and error. But on this one, there there's no I can't do that. I, I, I can't just because right now we're building on the spot and fixing thing on the spot. And and I'm hoping that you guys are in a way I appreciate it and and seeing the work because I don't want you guys to give up. I don't I don't want you guys to be uh, frustrated with your bills. I don't want you guys to give up on your bills. Whatever you have in your mind, it can almost always be done in income. You may have to move a lot and, and that's a choice we all make. Uh, and believe me, I I do think about it. I, I, I have to think about it like, okay, I can fix this. But by fixing this, I gotta do a lot of work. It's not just fixing the bridge, it's, it's the fences, it's the spacing, it's the front, it's the landscaping, it's, it's every, and then fixing the road right here. Because originally, don't forget, the road was gonna curve in and going down the river. So all that road right there, and that it doesn't look right, right? So all that is also gonna get reworked. That way everything can look good, the, the way it's supposed to, you know? I can leave it the way it is, but it's just, it's, I mean, what road kind of finish like that? It doesn't make sense. And there's one, one is deeper than the other. The other side has more cement. Uh, cement. It just, it's not flowing. So here I'm looking at the front and, and this is like, once I fix the bridge and then I realize now I need to work the front. And then I'm looking at the other bridge, what I did that looks good over there. And basically what I had to do, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> and, and, and this is what, and this is why it's all in video because I don't want to fix it. I know I have to fix it. I don't want to do the work, but I know the work needs to be done. I want this to look good, but I don't want to move it. I'm, and and I was like, okay, I like my boat area I, because I wanted to put a couple boats here. But if I now move the space, I can only be able to put two boats instead of three or four, depending on, because uh, I kind of wanted like to rotate them and stuff like that. So I was like, okay. But at the end, like I said, if you want to make it right, don't get frustrated <laughs> like I did. Don't get disappointed on yourself and go ahead, take your time. There's no hurry. Um, and just do it, you know, just do the fixes that you need to fix. Don't worry about how much you got to tear down, how much you got to break, how much you got to, uh, you know, redo uh, Cause you know, um, you you might already spend two hours, and you like what you did, but what's behind it now doesn't match what's in the front, and and just don't give up. You know, just go ahead. I mean, you see me right here. I'm I'm now, I'm now I'm fixing the row. I'm trying to figure things out. What's gonna look good? You know, but at the end result, the end result is always worth it, right? And that's the end goal. Once you see how everything looked at the end that's the motivation that that really gets me going and now the, the first thing was right here fixing that i like it it looks good okay so how can i match that entryway to the both bridges well let me imitate a little bit of what i have on the other side not completely because over there i have a river over here i just want this to end right here and the other thing is i know this opening has to be wider so we need to make a little wider. So I'm gonna have to make the boat area 
a little smaller. I'm gonna have to, as of being able to put three boats, I'm gonna have to be able to put two. But the end result, the end result is the most important, right? The vision that you have, what you wanna make, what you wanna build. And like I always say, the best thing of the income. Yes, it's a farming sim. Yes, we can do farming and there's animals and cute things and you can go hunting. But the reason that the reason that I'm here, the reason that I, I play the income right now is this, it's building. Is even though maybe James did not create the income on purpose in the point of for making builds, this is where I believe the game is heading. This is where the game will have its longer lifespan. And the and the more items James give us, the more updates, the more tools, the more building aspect he's gonna give us in this game, the more popular, the more bigger, and the more fantastic this game is gonna become. But this is why I'm here. This is why I'm playing Dinkum, is the building, is what can we create? You know, I like the farming part. Uh, don't get me wrong. I, I go over there and when I need money, I grind the farming. And, and that's one thing that my wife likes to do is, you know, Nestor is all about the farming. It's all about the collecting. It's all about the grinding part of the of the game. I love the building part of the game. I like to be creative and starting this channel, having you guys here, watching, motivating, watching what we're creating, talking about it pushing each other to the limits of what we can right now into our imagination, start branching out and thinking of new ways to approach the income. This is why we're here. And truly, I can't, I, I can't say how excited I am of, of all of you being here and watching and, and pushing each other, you know, because, because of you guys, I'm pushing more my builds, more of the limits more of the creative way I, I'm doing research <laughs> and looking at real city layouts so we can put something more realistic in Dinkum because that's what I like. I, I'm, I'm more in the realistic aspect. And and yeah, so, so, so here we are together, pushing the limits of Dinkum, making something great and, and encouraging each other. And my encouragement to you guys is do not give up. Do not give up on your bills. Do not give up of what you are truly trying to accomplish. And yes, there may be something that it cannot be done just yet, and that's fine. But a lot of time, it's just the work. And all we need to do is go ahead and do the work. And then the end result, I promise you, will always be worth it. Yeah, you already spent two hours. You already spent three hours or something, and now you gotta redo it again. That's usually not very motivating. But at the end, the end result, and right here is a little proof of that, is the end result is always gonna be worth it at the end. It's gonna make things very, very good for all of us. And your builds, once you get to that point, I think it's gonna encourage you and make you uh, really happy with everything at the end. So so right here, we're doing a little walkthrough. I kinda wanted to see how everything is, is looking and, and looking at the end. Uh, I didn't get to the point that I wanted originally because we did some so many new things and approached things in many different areas. But I do love the double bridge, and and right here right now I decided on the fence that I wanted to go. And right now I took all the wire. We're going palm wood, and and you see this fence right there. Put them all together. That's actually the gate, and I love the way it looks. You gotta make sure that nothing is touching it because then it converts to a gate. But right now, that high together like that, the palm wood gate is amazing as a fence, as long as it's not touching anything else. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit a like, subscribe if you wanna see more videos, and we're gonna see you next time on part two of the coastal build entry. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.